Our wildfire coverage continues now. Earlier in the afternoon, we had reports that firefighters were disengaging from part of the fire lines outside of Clackamas County. So what does that mean when we hear firefighters are disengaging? Isaac, can you hear me? Yes, hi. This is Isaac McLennan, Vice President of the International Association of Firefighters, Local 43. Isaac, when people hear that, they go into a panic. Firefighters disengaging. What does that really mean? Put it in perspective for us. Yeah, absolutely. And look, uh, I'll start by saying uh, firefighters in the state of Oregon, uh, like myself, we put ourselves in harm's way to protect uh, life, property, you know, and the environment uh, in that order. Um, and in this instance, you know, these, these, this firestorm is something like we've never seen before. Um, and right now what we have is two very large fires that are converging and producing a weather pattern, something that's very unstable. And the last thing we want to do is put firefighters in harm's way such that they have to, you know, uh, be right there in that firestorm, that very unpredictable state, something that we're not, you know, the weather, the weather, the weather folks that are looking at this are the ones that are really making the call here. So as a, as a firefighter, the frustration level must be cre extremely high. Oh, absolutely. You know, uh, we, we love doing our job. We love serving and protecting uh, Oregonians and their property. Um, it's something that we all do with a lot of pride. Um, that being said, um, we all want to go home to our families at the end of the day. And so if uh, the experts are seeing things that look very unstable or unsafe, you know, they take that very seriously. And um, we want to make sure firefighters stay safe out there. Hey, Isaac, in your years as a firefighter, have you, your brothers and sister firefighters, have you ever seen anything like this? You know, um, I, I've definitely been considering that over the last couple of days as this has unfolded. And, and the answer is no, quite simply no. I've, I'm a I'm born and raised Oregonian uh, for over 40 years. Uh, I became a firefighter at a very young age. And uh, no, I've never seen anything quite like this. What's it going to take, and I know you're not in the fire leadership here on these command and these fires, but what's it going to take for you guys to go on the offensive? Well, what we need to do is we need to see a change in weather, uh, and we are still on the offensive. I mean, you've got, you've got fires burning. There's uh, many fires that are burning across Oregon, right? So our 3,500-plus uh, firefighters that are uh, professional firefighters in Oregon are, are all working not only in their own communities, but they're all sending resources to these fires uh, across the state, and so... We are aggressively attacking these fires in some areas, but maybe just not right in that spot where you see that those, those weather patterns that are very unstable, very unpredictable. Uh, we desperately want to save these houses, these communities. You know, these, these, are, these are our communities. We have um, over 260 of our own firefighters. Their houses are in jeopardy. Uh, so, you know, while there, uh, many of them are on the front lines fighting these fires, so while their own homes and families are, are at risk, they're out there serving. So we, these are our communities as well, and we want to protect them. Well, Isaac, thank you so much for putting that into perspective. And our thoughts are with you, your, your fellow firefighters out there on the front lines, risking their lives to save other lives as they do every day, but especially now. Thank you. Absolutely. Yes, thank you very much. Have a good evening. You too.